Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So there are some new details on how Ben fuses with Upgrade in the Bed 10 reboot. If you don't know already, a little while ago I made a video talking about how some of the Playmates toys for Ben 10 showed a Ben figure that's fused with Upgrade. And so, you know, when this first came out, we didn't know if this was just like a toy or something or if it was something that happened in the show. But since then, new details have emerged at the New York Toy Fair. Shout out to Pixel Dan who made this video of his product walkthrough at Playmate Toys at the New York Toy Fair. So in this video, we see the Ben figure that is fused with Upgrade, and we actually get some new details on it. So the representative from Playmates Toys says that this is Glitch Ben. Basically what happens is that a glitch in Season 2 makes the Omnitrix glitch, and then it causes Ben to be fused with Upgrade. Now, what does this exactly mean? Because to me, when they say a glitch happens with the Omnitrix, it sounds like to me that would just be like a one and off type thing, that this would just happen for one episode, and then pretty much we would never see it again. But if that was the case, then why would they be making a figure out of it? You know, if you look at back at Ben 10's figures, even before they got to Playmates Toys, even when they were at Bandai, very rarely was it that something happened in only one episode and they made a figure on it. A few examples of this would be like now, we didn't get a Gax figure since Gax was only in four episodes and he hasn't appeared since then. Only the Omnitrix special, so then they didn't make a figure for him. Now in the past, like the original series, we never got a figure for Eye Guy because he was only in that one movie, The Secret of the Omnitrix, that special beginning. They had like three different beginnings, one with Heat Blast, Accelerate, and then Eye Guy. They didn't make a figure for him because he was only in that. So if they're making a figure for this Ben fusing with Upgrade, more likely than not, this is something that happens more than once. So, is this going to be like a new feature of the Omnitrix where he can fuse with his aliens? I mean, it is quite interesting to see that they actually are trying to do something new with the reboot. My curiosity is that, is this going to be like something that each season we're going to get some drastic new thing with the Omnitrix? Like, you know, obviously season one of the reboot, it was just, you know... Ben has 10 aliens, it's a new show, then he gets an 11th. Then now in season 2, it's like, oh, well now Ben has these Omni-enhanced forms for his aliens. Basically similar to Ultimate Aliens, but you know, it's quite different. Then they have season 3. Now instead of Ben transforming into aliens, he just fuses with them. I mean, I kind of hope that's not the case. Honestly, like I, like I said, I think this is cool, but I don't want... I mean, listen... The reboot's bad, alright? It's not a good show. It's obviously a lot worse than all of the other iterations of Ben 10. I've said that it's not my favorite show in the past. You guys have said it's not your favorite show in the past. We all know it's not a good iteration of Ben 10. It's okay at best, but it's not good. The thing is, is that if each season of the reboot, they're going to be introducing something, you know, drastic new change to the series, I don't think that's really a good thing to do, honestly. Like, you know, we didn't really get a drastic new feature to the Omnitrix until each iteration of the show. Like, you know, the original Ben 10, well, it was just Ben and, you know, 10 aliens, and he got some more aliens as the show progressed. Alien Force, pretty much the same thing, just Ben got some new aliens. Ultimate Alien was the first time we actually got something new, where it's like, hey, yeah, now Ben can go Ultimate Alien, which is like an ultimate form as alien, similar to Omni Enhanced is, but it's still pretty different, but it is similar. And then Omniverse, we didn't really get anything new with it either. Is it going to be, though, that every season of the reboot, we get something totally new, a totally new mechanic for the Omnitrix? I kind of, honestly, it's I kind of hope not. I mean, it's kind of cool to see, hey, you know, we got these Omni-enhanced forms of his aliens now. That's cool. But is it going to be that, hey, you know what, in season three... We're just not going to have any of that anymore. It's just that going to be that he fuses with his aliens. I think that's honestly a mistake. I know the reasoning behind this. At least I think I know the reasoning behind this. It's it's definitely to sell toys. I mean, that's the only reason I could think. Why would you release a new mechanic every season? Because look, season one, obviously we had ten figures for the ten aliens. They threw in some villains as well. And obviously Ben. Then season two, we are re-releasing a lot of the same molds with different attachments, like for example, for Heat Blast, it's pretty much the same mold, except they added some a few pieces to him, right? And they added the jetpack. Then in Season 3, 
we're going to release 10 versions of Ben fused with his aliens. So we got one that's like upgrade. One that he has a little fire hair for heat blast. Another one where he has he's green and kind of translucent for diamond head, etc. One he has four arms. One he's a bit smaller or something. And that's pretty easy because they'll be using a very similar mold for each figure. And there'll be 10 of them because he has 10 aliens. Unless if they decide to actually add... An 11th alien, or a 12th alien, because, you know, I know Shot Rock is the 11th alien, but he's the 10th alien in the Omnitrix right now, because Gax isn't being used, and Upgrade is gone right now. So I kind of feel like that's the reason why this is all happening, if they do indeed do something, a new mechanic each season. It's definitely to sell toys. I mean, I think it's a cheap move, honestly, but then again, the whole reboot is just a cheap move. All they try to do with this is just... Pretty, it's pretty much a big crash grab, because they know Ben 10 is a huge franchise, they're hoping to bring it to a younger audience who will buy all the new toys, because honestly, I've said this before, the most logical next step for Ben 10 when Omniverse ended was to make a Ben 10,000 series, but instead, Cartoon Network made a reboot to try to attract a new, younger audience to Ben 10, so they can make more money on merchandise. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you f how you feel about this if there is indeed every season we get a brand new major mechanic that is pretty much just being made to sell merchandise anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time